Canada's oldest continually running band began in 1851 and it's right here in Niagara. Conductor Andrew Carruthers, trumpet player Steve Finkelstein, members of the Thorold Reed Band join us. Andrew, finally back together after COVID. So when I say continually playing, there was actually a break for the first time during COVID. As far as I know of it, the first break came when uh, March 2020 came around and we, uh, we had to stop playing. Uh, we practiced on the 11th of March on that Wednesday night and then we didn't get back together until November of 2021. And uh, we had a few weeks to prepare a Christmas concert which went very well, but uh, it was a long time between. What do you know about the history of how this band began way back then? I don't know much, honestly. Um, th those who really were schooled in the history of the band are all gone now too because it goes back so far. It's, you know, 170 plus years. Uh, having said that, there are some historical documents in the Thorold Library at the Lock. Um, uh, sorry, Library at the Thorold Museum at the Lock. But um, um, what I know of it was uh, it survived the Spanish flu, it survived the World Wars, it was continually going for ages and ages. And it, uh, it started as a community band within Thorold, but we've grown to more a Niagara region band and beyond, honestly. Steve, as a trumpeter, how did you come about joining this band and when? Well, it's a, kind of a funny story. What happened was I moved from Ottawa about 10 years ago and I didn't know of any bands at all playing in Niagara. Like I just, just a newbie coming here. So I put an ad in Kijiji saying one slightly used out of work trumpet player looking for somewhere to play. True story. And I got a response and then I got another response and all of a sudden I started seeing all these bands pop up that I never even had no idea. And the Thorold Weed Band caught my eye and I jumped in. It's got to be nine years, maybe ten years. Were you playing in a band back in Ottawa? Yes, I played in a wedding corporate band and that was pretty much every week, every Saturday, most Saturdays and most Sundays. So it was a lot of work and I wanted, when, once I moved to Niagara, I didn't want to get back into that scenario. So I wanted to be a little more laid back, enjoy playing, not so businesslike. And when I saw the, the Thorold Reed Band, I said, that's perfect. Andrew, this is a band of volunteers. None of your musicians are paid. Absolutely. I'm the only paid position and, and uh, you know, I, I wish there were funds to give people money. But musicians, when, when they learn, whether it begins when they're 10 years old like Steve or whether it begins in their 40s, they want to take part in a, a group, in, in, a, in an ensemble. And um, unless they are really honestly schooled post-secondary, um, they find volunteer ways to play, whether it's swing bands, whether it's concert bands, orchestras. Um, Niagara is lucky to have some of each of those. Um, Thorold Reed Band is lucky to have a reputation that draws the best players from the amateur and, and semi-professional as well as retired professional community, which is really nice. We have a, a really good core of players. The way you connected with Steve, is that typical of how you find some of the members? From, from the opposite uh, um, perspective, I heard from one of my other trumpeters uh, about him because she had met him attending another band and complimented his playing. I said, sure, bring him in. and. Uh, like, it's a community group. We're not going to turn anyone away. Um, we have players who know they're, you know, not as strong as other players. So be it. Um, we are a community and we, we are as strong as our average member. Now, Steve came in as a, as a very strong player. That's great. If he came in as a rather weak player, he just plays a different, a different part in the section, that's all. Steve, what has your experience been with the band so far? For me, it brought me back to my youth when I used to play in high school. The, the concert band ensemble is something that I got away from in the, in the wedding circuit. And when I went back to it, I realized how much I missed it and how much I liked it. And that's the type of music we play. We play everything from marches to pop. And I really do enjoy the arrangements and it's fun to play. Andrew, we're getting back to some live music and you have your first performance of five for this summer on July 6th. What can we expect in the repertoire that night? Oh man, I, I, I love this year's repertoire. In fact, we've been waiting three years to present it because it's the book that I put together for the 2020 season, which never happened. Uh, we have a tribute to uh, Dave Brubeck, which is uh, Take Five and uh, uh, Blue Rondo a la Turk, which is awesome. It's a little stretch for the band, but they are doing it. 
Uh, we're doing Classical Gas with a guest uh, guitarist, Brody Smith, who will be out on July 6th. We had Brody on the program. Did you? Yeah, Brody will be playing with us on July 6th. I know him from my time teaching at uh, uh, Niagara Symphony Summer Music Camp. So I asked him if he might be available and interested, and uh, he said yes. So um, we've had a couple of, well, we've had one rehearsal with him. We have one more this Wednesday before next week. Um, we have um, Sousa Marches. We have you know, Imagine Dragons. We have everything from the pop that he talked about to uh, classical music as well. What I try to do with every program is, and I've said this before on the Source program, but we, we try to play something in every evening that would suit anybody who walks in the park. So if a grandparent brings in their 10-year-old grandchild, you know, they're going, the grandparent's going to hear things that are going to make them happy and tap their toe too, but the grandchild is also going to hear something that they go, I didn't know that could happen, you know, and it's incredible nowadays, especially what can be produced and what can be arranged for concert band. Steve, are you enjoying that repertoire? Are you enjoying playing with the band again? Absolutely. The Dave Brubeck that Andrew's talking about, um, it doesn't, in my head, it's in 5-4, so there's five beats in a bar, and I'm really good at catching 2-4, four, 3-4, four, and 4-4, four, four, but I haven't been that great at, because of practice playing in 5-4, so this really got me sitting on the edge of my seat. Some challenge. Oh, I sit there and I listen to the drum, and every time the drummer hits a certain cadence, I know that's one's coming. And that's how I do it, and it took me a couple practices to get used to that. Now I think I got it. What's the general feeling amongst you and the other band members just about the fact that you're getting back to playing and you've got these five dates? We are tickled pink to play again to, for, for humanity. Like, I, as a trumpet player, I practice every day in my basement. That gets old after a while, even though you practice with YouTube and you do the best you can to get out and play with other musicians, to hear the harmony lines, to hear the flute section come in or the clarinet section come in. It's just, it's beyond belief, like, how, how much we've all missed it. That's for sure. Andrew, Wednesday, July 6th, right through to August 13th, is that the final date? August 3rd is the last August one 3rd? in the park. Um, on August 10th, we'll have a indoor concert at Knox Presbyterian downtown, 53 Church Street. Um, that sixth concert will be the greatest hits of the season. So, um, and I'm not saying there's anything that's less than any of the other, but it's going to be worth attending a second concert if you only come out to a couple. Um, Knox is air conditioned too, so it'll be nice and comfortable. And, and these are all free? And is they're food all free. Available? Um, we, we, there's no food available, but uh, the concerts are free, but we do pass the hat. Um, we have support from the city of Thorold, which is greatly appreciated. Um, uh, and at other, you know, um, Henderson Pharmacy gives us some, some money every year in support and uh, uh, the funeral home as well. But it's nice to have some money to spend on new charts and new music for the next season. Exactly. Yep. Andrew, Steve, thank you so much for joining us. Break a leg this season. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Looking forward to playing.